I'm going to tell y'all a bad dating experience that I had. This was in 2001. I was unemployed for, for two months. I was unemployed. I was getting my unemployment check. That day, my unemployment, I had $130 on my unemployment check. And um, I met this female at McDonald's. And we exchanged numbers. She didn't work there. She was a customer there. So, the next day, she gave me the address and everything to come over. So, I had $130 on me. So, I'm going to her apartment. I get in. We watch TV. We talk. We were in the bedroom. And we got busy. After we got busy, I got up and went to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom, did what I had to do in the bathroom, came out. We talked chit chat for a little bit, put on my clothes, and I left. About five, six hours later, I went to the store, um, 7 Eleven. I brought me cupcakes, put gas in the car, and a mystic drink. The gas was like $10. So when I went in my wallet, money's gone. She stole my money while I was in the bathroom. So I called the police and we went over there. And the police confronted her like, where well, Mr. Green, $130 that you stole? I ain't steal it. So her mother was like, where'd you get the money from? Some guy named Ivan gave me $130. And he was a buying that, and I showed the officer the receipt of my unemployment um, check, show him the stuff. And he said, either you're going to give him the money or you go going to jail. So the policeman followed her into the room and made her give, him, give me my $130. My advice, when you're going over guys, if you're going over girl house and girls, if you're going over guy house, before you go in there, leave your money in your glove box and lock it. That's what I should have did. My mistake was going in there with my with my wallet. But if y'all going to see somebody, make sure you have your wallet in your car or in your vehicle. That way they go in your pocket, they don't have nothing to take.